Thank you for watching this four minute video, Deregulated Power Contracting, Five Secrets. I am Rafael Hertzberg, Managing Partner at Interact Limited, an energy consulting company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The five secrets associated with excellent power deals are shown here. When to lock power prices for future delivery? What kind of pricing formats are the best ones for my case? How long to contract power? What volume to close? And how to check in a competitive fashion market prices? The first question is then, when to lock power prices? Of course, everyone will tell you that their goal is to lock minimum power prices. But the question is, when does the market offer minimum prices? And most importantly, how to identify this situation? Let's have a look at a long-term perspective when it comes to power prices. All these numbers are designated in reais, the local currency per megawatt hour. The spot power prices are in the range today of 77 reais per megawatt hour. Next quarter, the market is offering something like 123 reais per megawatt hour. For future delivery 2017 and to 2020, right now it's about 149 reais per megawatt hour. And after 2020, I like to use the marginal cost of expansion of our own power matrix in Brazil and our company calculates it on a weekly basis and right now it's about 221 reais per megawatt hour. In Brazil, the season effect might make an important influence in the future power costs. If we have a look at what happens in a year, it's about two seasons, the dry season and the wet season. And this is fairly important because in Brazil, about 75% of our power matrix is associated with hydropower plants. So when we have a lot of water stored, then power prices drop. And accordingly, when we have the dry season, the power prices climb way up. So the next question is how to lock power prices? Actually, there are basically three ways to lock deals. The first one and most popular in Brazil is waiting till the end of the current ongoing contract and check the market for power prices. The second one is based in the upper management's intuition. And the third, which I like the most, is when you go for a decision-making process using analytical data and the manager's intuition also. Depending on the decision-making process about closing power deals, you may find completely different prices for your company. The first reference, and it's the most popular in Brazil, is when you close a deal very close to when the current contract is about to end. Let's make it a reference of 100%. The next situation is when the upper management is heavily involved in the process and they somehow understand a bit about the most important parameters of the market. So it is fair to say that they will end up getting a 20% discount with respect to the first uh, reference. But then there is this third method, which I call analytics plus intuition. In this case, companies are able to lock very attractive power prices, a lot lower than the previous two. 
Thank you very much for watching this video and make sure to keep in touch because in a few days we will come up with a new video pricing formats. And here goes my contact information. I am looking forward to hearing from you soon.